because everyone over there is so offended by everything with their block lists and their inability to hear different points of view, they're just reporting each other. In the past 24 hours, we have received more than 42,000 reports, an all-time high for one day. What is Blue Sky, the fast-growing social platform welcoming fleeing ex-users? You're getting a sense of deja vu? I know I am. Yeah, so Blue Sky is the new social media platform that was created, I believe, by Jack Dorsey and all the progressive leftist crybabies who can't handle the fact that Donald Trump won the US election have decided to flee, making sure that they announce it to everyone. Hello, Don Lemon. Hello, Mark Hamill. We're leaving X, we're leaving X, which means that uh, in the marketplace of free and open ideas, they couldn't handle it anymore because they kept getting called out for their BS. Disgruntled ex-users are again flocking to Blue Sky, a new social media platform that grew out of the former Twitter before billionaire Elon Musk took over in 2022. While it remains small, comparable to the established online spaces such as X, it has emerged as an alternative for those looking for a different kind of social space. Oh yes, it's a different kind of social space, that's for sure. Because the overwhelming of progressive degenerates have flocked there. Uh, this is a fantastic account to keep an eye on. Libs of Blue Sky, which basically just highlights all of their degeneracy. And then some. I'm just going to go through a couple of my favorite posts that they've put up. Uh, they really, really don't like Elon Musk over there. I hate Twitter and I hate Elon Musk so effing much. You know, it's just, it's just all I hate. I hate Elon. Oh, and um, it gets a little bit spicy over there too. The so-called tolerant and loving and accepting progressives now on Blue Sky are uh, unalive. Donald Trump, unalive his VP Vance, unalive his cabinet picks. You can feel the joy. Uh, one of the things that they've done there is create block lists. So what this, what this app basically says is if you can't handle any opinions outside of your echo chamber, don't worry, we've got your back. We've created block lists so you might never have to experience something that might hurt your feelings. Oh, and there's a whole bunch of this degeneracy as well, which is basically flooding. Yuck. Oh, and did you know that COVID wasn't over for the people of Blue Sky? COVID is not over. Tips for journalists writing about COVID and long COVID. Unbelievable. This is pathetic. Um, there's also this sort of degeneracy, which I've never heard of, but clearly they've found a nice comfy home. This user exclusively shares images of toddlers and babies in diapers. This is what I expect when I go over to Blue Sky. But the funny thing is, the hilarious thing is, <laughs> is that because everyone over there is so offended by everything with their block lists and their inability to hear different points of view, they're just reporting each other. In the past 24 hours, we have received more than 42,000 reports, an all-time high for one day. We're receiving about 3,000 reports an hour. To put that into context, in all of 2023, we received 360 reports. We are triaging this large queue, so the most harmful content, such as C, Sam, I don't know what that is, is removed quickly. They can't handle it. And here's the proof. So uh, N Wokeness, yet again, another fantastic account on X, uh, signed up to Blue Sky and posted a biological fact. There are only two genders. Posting, it's been posted, and he gets a content warning. <laughs> the 
content is blocked. A biological fact, they can't even handle that. Now, remember how I said I was getting a sense of deja vu? Were you getting that sense of deja vu as well? Yeah, because I feel like, I feel like we heard this all before. Only a year and a half ago. Twitter killer threads at hits 100 million signups in less than five days. Welcome to Threads, Facebook's Twitter killer. No, I'm not signing up. Threads, Instagram's Twitter killer. What you need to know about Threads, Instagram's new Twitter killer app. Meta takes aim at Twitter with Threads app. Millions join. Hit app Threads is intoxicating. It offers the internet we were promised. Facebook's Meta launches Twitter killer social network Threads. How's Threads going, everyone? Yeah, no one uses it anymore. And Instagram is desperately trying to make you use it, but it didn't kill Twitter. If anything, Twitter is stronger than ever. Amazing what happens when you allow freedom of speech. Oh, and a lot of the big companies have decided to return to advertising. So no one is worried about Blue Sky. Man, I give it less than a year as well because they're just going to self-report each other into oblivion. So I thought, hell, I should sign up as well. I put up my favourite trolling post. I wonder how long that's going to last. I don't have anyone following me at the moment, so I doubt it. Uh, so I'll just leave that there. I'm going to try what what old mate at um, N Wokeness did as well. I'm going to post that one up. I wonder how long that one will last as well. Maybe I'll have to come back and report on this at another time. Again, I had uh, no idea if anyone was following N Wokeness. Hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. My guess is as well that it'll just become a haven for the PDF files because that's usually what happens when this side of the aisle congregates together. Are you going to sign up to Blue Sky? I feel like I can have some fun there. Why won't you join me? All right, mate, thanks very much for checking out the channel and this video, so follow me up there and do all the things down there. Hmm, maybe I have to add a, uh, a blue sky icon. Are we done? No, we're not done.